Oh, hey, hi, everybody. Dan John here from danjohnuniversity.com. Uh, I got a good question the other day, and I, I, and I thought to myself, instead of answering it inside, you know, my office, which is nice, I would answer it here in my gym, which today is really cold. Uh, for my European friends, we're about minus two. For my American friends, who are in the middle 20s with Fahrenheit. Uh, the question was this, uh, when's the best time to lose body fat? And I always tell people the best time to lose body fat is right now uh, here in Utah. From about November to about March is the prime time for losing body fat. Now, now here's the thing. We all, <laughs> we all get bikini, bikini beach body stuff going on our heads, but the truth is, this is the time of year where nature wants you to burn fat. As I'm standing here in my garage right now, I have uh, in Europe uh, goose pimples here, uh, goose flesh, and here we have goose pimples, goose bumps. Uh, I can feel it up here, I can feel it here. Right now, my body is trying to keep me warm and I'm, I'm actually chilly and I'm, and I'm freezing. So number one, nature is working with you this time of year. I also believe to burn body fat, you need more sleep. Well, where we live on the latitudes, it's pretty easy to go to bed early. Uh, I went to bed last night at eight because it was dark at five. So by the time eight o'clock rolled around, yeah, I watched I watched the Ted Lasso and I read it. I got a new uh, edition of Harry Potter and I started reading that through great, beautiful version. I'm up to chapter three of book one already. I read a little bit, took care of my work, took care of this and that. It was 8 o'clock, I was like, go to bed. And then this morning, because the baby didn't cry, the dog didn't bark, you know, it's 7 a.m., uh, I woke up. I got 11 hours sleep without even thinking about it. This time of year, it's cold. Your body's going to burn more fat. This time of year, it's dark. You're going to sleep longer. This time of year, the appropriate foods tend to be things like soups, stews, and chili. Today for, for lunch, Mike and I had this conversation of, how hard would it be to get fat eating chili? And we had this kind of funny conversation because, you know, when, uh, I mean, on paper, chili might have this many calories, but, you know, a day or so later, you realize that you didn't eat them. Um, stews, soups, salads, those big hearty meals, you can put eight to 15 to 20 vegetables in there. You can add tons of hot sauce. You can add lots of extra beans, and all of a sudden you have a, a food that's not only going to be uh, good for your digestion, your elimination, your gut biome, but it's also going to be a food that the act of eating is going to be filling for you too. I don't know if I explained that as well as I wanted, but it's great for gut biome, it's great for your elimination, but it also fills you up. And I think those three, when you have them together, the cold, the dark, and the foods we choose this uh, time of year really seem to help with fat loss. Toss in three intelligent weight workouts a day, hmm, maybe dayofjohnnews.com, throw in some extra walking as best you can, and here in Utah, throw in some snow, snow shoveling, and you're going to take care of business. I'm Dan John from Dan John University, looking forward to a Fat burning winter. Thank you.